Wake Forest has become my home probably from the first day I walked on campus in 1968. Mike was involved in everything from athletics to the academics to the fraternity. He stayed involved in the student union. He just seemed to be kind of the perfect Wake Forest student. What I remember about his days is the consul of fraternity. He modeled uh, consistently a standard for, for personality, for integrity, for leadership that really stood out. I think what brought me back to Wake Forest professionally was I had this fond memory of how Wake Forest transformed my life. And I felt like if I could maybe go back there and bring my own expertise, my own passion to other young people, it would be very fulfilling. Well, you can see Mike's passion for the student experience in pretty much everything he's done. One of the most important experiences that he's probably created is the idea of philanthropy and giving back. Mike lives out our motto pro humanitate. He fundamentally believes when we serve other people we are in fact serving ourselves in the best sense of the word. His biggest contribution to the community of Wake Forest is through the Brian Piccolo Cancer Drive with Hit the Bricks and Wake and Shake because that has just changed so many lives on Wake's campus and built leadership roles. We both worked on Wake and Shake together. His positive mindset and optimism was so impactful as someone who was learning, figuring out the ropes of the process. If you ever needed help, he was right there with you. He always did such a good job of keeping it real, honing it in on what everything was really about. And so to be able to be a student and just to raise over $300,000 for cancer research is just something that I don't think I ever imagined coming into college that I could do. Where Mike has really left his mark is building this whole orientation program. He always felt helping each of our students find their place was very important. He started the Deacon Camp, and so it's a pre-orientation program for first-year students. And his enthusiasm for Wake Forest just kind of shined through when he took these students to learn about the history of Wake Forest and where it actually started. And to do that with first-year students, I think is so special. I remember when I first came to Wake, he was described to me as the president of fun because he was at the heart of all those amazing student activities that were going on. I remember Mike runs out on stage with a red wig and a white lab coat and these kind of like googly eyes and he's kind of playing this role as a mad scientist and it was so fun to watch all of the students, all of the freshmen in the audience just kind of look at each other and go, who is this guy? That moment just I think really speaks to his just dynamic ability to also be somebody who can meet an audience at their level. I actually didn't find out he was President Ford's son until probably about halfway through my junior year. And it was kind of shocking because he was such a humble man. I think teaching leadership to students is so important for Mike because Mike had a concept of leadership and its importance from a very young age. He uniquely understood its impacts when taught and done right. He engages students first and foremost as a conscious presence. And he also has this uncanny ability to see more in people than perhaps they see in themselves at any given moment. What stands out about Mike was how fervently he believed in students. Lifting students up and giving them the opportunity to shine in leadership. Whether that is through charge, whether that was through wake and shake, whether that was through hit the bricks, those are all real hallmarks of putting students in the limelight. He didn't wait till they were seniors to help them understand what leadership meant. 
he really started talking to them, getting to know them, helping them get to understand what that concept was about as first year students. Mike is one of those who always puts students first. So whatever the program or whatever the event, he was going to make sure not only were student voices at the table, but that if they happened not to be, that he was going to be advocating for them. As we continue to do those events to infuse his mark of, of, of fun leadership, of letting students lead, of saying yes to their ideas, I think those are all ways that we can kind of highlight his legacy here on our campus. There are hundreds if not thousands of students, alumni, who are making a difference in the world and they have all been influenced by Mike. Mike, thank you. Thank you, Mike. You have been such an incredible part of my Wake Forest experience. He's modeled for them um, what it means um, to be a person of integrity, to be a truth teller, to be a person who values service. My college experience, like so many other kids at Wake Forest, would simply not be the same without Mike Ford. His drive, his ambition, um, his leadership, his hilarious jokes. Thank you for helping shape my experience. I would thank Mike for showing me what is possible when you believe in students. Thanks so much for helping me to understand what it means to live a humble, spirit-filled life. You have been a role model, a mentor, and your friendship has meant more to me than you can possibly imagine. It's hard to think about Wake Forest without Mike Ford, and I think it's hard to think about Mike Ford without Wake Forest. I truly thank you for all of your hard work, all of your efforts to reach out to students and their families, and to make Wake Forest the best experience it could possibly be for Demon Deacons to come.